Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's my privilege to introduce our host for the day. Rashmi is currently Asia's only professional lady quiz host, an alumnus of the prestigious NITK Suratkal and I am Calcutta. She's hosted close to a thousand shows across India, Singapore and several countries across the Middle East. She is the only woman to have been invited to host a quiz at Kuwait for the last five years. She was recognized by Business World as 40 under 40 as a personality from India to reckon with. She was the winner of the Quiz Host of the Year 2022 by SMX Leadership Summit. She's been part of this quiz for many years as she has been part of several quizzes such as Tata Crucible, the Union Bank Quiz, the Rural IT Quiz, TCS Inquisitive, just to name a few. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get started. Time to welcome your host, Miss Rashmi Futado. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the season four of World Teachers Quiz Know It All, brought to you by TeacherTribe.world in association with Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe and Brain Pulses. You have uh, uh, you have tuned in to the world finale of this quiz. We have gone through preliminary rounds, quarterfinals, semifinals, and then finally identified all the teachers who have made it into this world finale here today. And they will battle it out to win that championship. So let's see who fares well and who becomes the world champion of season four of the World Teachers Quiz Know It All. Let me introduce our finalists to you and then get started with the game. Our first finalist for the day is Dhanush Reddy from Teja Vidyalaya Kodad. Up next is Abhishek Mishra from Sunbeam School, Lahartara. Following him from up north, representing the Sun Sant Kabir School in Chandigarh, is Deepta Vivekanand. Representing the Sunbeam School from Lahartara again is Sanjeev Kumar. And completing the lineup for us here today, representing the SUTR High School from Amdanga uh, from the east is Samrat Maitra. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen all the world finales or all the seasons of the World Teachers Quiz so far. I somehow feel this season the quality has been taken up a notch by all of these quizzes throughout the quarterfinals, semifinals, and now in the world finale. So let's get started with the first round of the world finale and unlock our minds. Here we go. Six questions in this round, all of them visuals coming up on your screen. I will, however, have corresponding questions for you. Good luck, do well. Single attempt per question only. Keep that at the back of your mind. Let's get started with the world finale. The first question of round one coming up on your screen now. Her name is Anna Jarvis. She created something in this world which has been observed every year. I said, I said observed every year. Sanjeev, go ahead. My mother's day. She created Mother's Day in the memory of her mother. And that is something we observe in this world every year. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Moving on to question number two. Coming up on your screen now. These are gong farmers in the bygone days of England. And they collected what is called night soil. And they were paid two shillings a ton. 
what was this night soil problem that continues to be a problem this to this day night soil i said i need a generic term as an answer oh a tough one for the final is here today time is up in fact i gave them a little longer than i usually do 5 to 7 seconds is what they get to press the buzzer ladies and gentlemen the answer i was looking for is waste management so night soil is nothing but waste or uh, sometimes even human waste that they would collect uh, during the night time and they would get paid 2 shillings for a ton of the waste waste management an answer i was looking for let's move on to question number 3 coming up on your screen here we go her name is margaret hamilton and she was responsible for writing all the codes go ahead sanjeev on the buzzer i think ma'am it's apollo 11 apollo 11 landing on the moon absolutely right plus 50 to you on that okay let us move on to the next question question number 4 coming up on your screen now what simple icon did ring go ahead deepta on the buzzer i'm guessing apple i said what simple icon you should have allowed me to complete the question what simple icon did raymond tomlinson invent that revolutionized the online communication do you want to you can try no points <laughs> online communication yeah anyone no. of you <laughs> wanting to give it a shot no points i mean deepta already took a negative when she said apple is it zoom ma'am no i said online communication and i said icon you all are going in the wrong direction the answer i was looking for is the actorate symbol the actorate symbol is what he created deepta getting a minus 50 on that she pressed the buzz a little too soon she can recover we are still in the first round of the quiz so it's too soon to be bothered about negatives so let's move on to the question number 5 of this round coming up on your screen now it's a soup that has been a status symbol and used as a therapeutic aid since ancient china when it was consumed by rulers and high officials even to this day it's considered one of the most expensive soups in the world what is the samrat go ahead it's the bird's nest soup my question was what is the main ingredient of this soup the bird's nest is all over is looking for bird's nest soup is absolutely right he gets a plus 50 on that one all right good answer by him there let's move on to the last question from this round take a good look at the visual before you answer coming up on your screen now his name is paul landowski he gave or designed something in this world which is iconic abhishek go ahead it's a christ the redeemer of brazil the christ the redeemer a statue from brazil absolutely right he gets a plus 50 on that if you take a close look at the visual on your screen you can actually see the face of christ uh, right there that's why i told them to be careful and look at the visual very closely before they answer absolutely right plus 50 on that to him ladies and gentlemen we have completed the first round of the world finale of the world teachers quiz know it all let's take a quick look at the score before we move forward into the next round all right sanjeev is leading this quiz with 100 points close behind him are both samrat and abhishek with 50 points each deepta has taken a negative she's on minus 50 so she has to move into the positives dhanush is on nil he too has to move into the positives ladies and gentlemen don't go by the scores that you're seeing on your screen all of them are very good uh, very good quizzers including dhanush and deepta although currently their scores are not speaking for their capability but believe me i have seen them quiz year on year and they're extremely good Let's see what happens as we move forward in this world finale. The second round coming up is setting the pace. Here we go. The 
The format of the round is similar to what we saw in the first round and six questions is what you get. The first question of this round coming up on your screen now. By what name are these tree trunks that have turned into stone over time known as? There is also a spell in Harry Potter series that results... Go ahead, Sanjeev on the buzzer. It's a petrified. Petrified wood. I was just going to say that in the Harry Potter series, there is a spell that leads to similar results. He's absolutely right. Petrified wood was the answer I was looking for. Plus 50 on that one to him. Let's move on to the next question. Question number two. All you have to tell me is what is printed using this machine? Danush on the buzzer. Go ahead, Danush. Uh, is it the dosa maker? All right. Dosa maker or dosa printer giving him that plus 50. Good answer by him there. Moving on to question number three from this round coming up on your screen now. Known as the Noak box wall, these items are used as the protection or barrier against what threat? Sanjeev, go ahead, sir. Flood. Floods is absolutely right. He gets a plus 50 on that one as well. He's doing very well here today. He's on 200 points already. Let's move on to the next question. Question number four. Coming up on your screen now. This is a museum in Japan that is a faithful recreation of the work shed where an iconic food item was invented. And it was invented by Deepta. Go ahead. Sushi. Deepta never waits for me to complete my question. Minus 50 on that. I had a very huge clue coming up. If you had waited, I think you would have figured out the answer. Invented by Momofuku Ando. What food item am I talking about? Can you now give me the answer? Dim sum. Oh, still not, still no? not the right one. Danush, do you want to try? Uh, instant noodles. Instant noodles instant. is what I was looking for as an answer. So this is actually the Cup Noodles Museum in Japan. And they have recreated the shed where he first created the instant noodles. Deepta getting a minus 50 on that one. Let's move on to the next question. Question number five coming up on your screen now. From the floor plan and a section, identify this structure. There was once a church, later a mosque. Sanjeev, go ahead. It's a Hagia Sophia mosque. He's absolutely right. From the Byzantine and the Ottoman empires, plus 50 on that to him. I thought both Dhanush and Samrat wanted to press the buzzer with the body language. So did Deepta, but they were a little too late. Sanjeev was very quick on the buzzer there. Let's move on. The last one in this round coming up on your screen. Here we go. It's handmade, expensive and comes in a solid form. Go ahead, Dhanush. Uh, it's the calligraphy ink used in Japan. The calligraphy ink used in Japan, the older it is, the more expensive it gets. He gets a plus 50 on that. What you're seeing on your screen is the solid bars, which are then rubbed against another piece of metal over there and used as ink for calligraphy. Plus 50 on that to Dhanush. Ladies and gentlemen, we are halfway through into the quiz. Time for us to take a quick look at the score. All right, leading this quiz right now is Sanjeev with 250 points. Trying to catch up with him is Danush with 100 points. Abhishek and Samrat both are on 50 points each and Deepta on a minus 100. Although we are halfway through into the quiz, we have two more rounds to go. So let's see what happens and move into the next round. Let's move on to the third round of this quiz. Think beyond. Here we go.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching the world finale of the World Teachers Quiz Know It All brought to you by teachertribe.world in collaboration with Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe and Brain Pulses. We have completed two rounds. I just told you the score. Time for us to move into the third round of this quiz. While our finalists here are answering, some of the questions are becoming a little difficult for them. It's the world finale. They should expect some amount of difficulty when it comes to the question. So let's move on. Round three. In this, question, in this round, you will have multiple clues coming up on your screen. You have to connect all of them and give me one final answer, an overall answer. All right? Four questions in this round, 200 points up for grabs. Question number one coming up on your screen now. Connect all of them to something specific in a global event. It says pistol dwelling. Oh, Dhanush, go ahead. He's trying. Uh, uh, this is a guess. Uh, these are all part of Olympics at one point of time. Part of Olympics at one point in time, he says. And he said it's a guess. I could figure that he's trying to work out the answer here. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. These are all discontinued sports or discontinued sporting events from the Olympics. Plus 50 to Dhanush on that very well worked out answer by him. Let's move on to the next question. A personality, a global icon for an answer. In the next question, coming up on your screen now. Sanjeev, go ahead. Taylor Swift. Can you give me an overall connect? Or rather, why Taylor Swift? It's just guess, ma'am. Nothing else. Just a guess. How did you get Taylor Swift from the Only screen? Uh, like I have seen in some time there is a one quiz. This uh, like where it's written a Harvard. So that was my, it was clicked in my mind. All right. Taylor Swift. Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Swift acted in the Hannah Montana movie. Her first, uh, when she, not first, actually one of her records that she had released, one of the record albums was with Big Machine. And believe it or not, Harvard has introduced a course on Taylor Swift. So basically on the Taylor Swift mania, they have introduced a course there are other universities that have created or introduced this course as well. But Harvard is what we have shown you on the screen. Taylor Swift is absolutely right. Plus 50 on that to him. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the next question. Coming up on your screen, something in common across all of them. Now. Samrat, go ahead. It's the Nobel Prize, specifically Nobel Prize. Why do you say Nobel? Nobel? Uh, I'm going for Winston Churchill and Barack Obama. They're connected with Nobel Prize. So I stick with Nobel Prize. Minus 50 on that one. All of them are educational scholarships that are named after these people. So everything that you see, uh, Fulbright, Rhodes, Shevning, Obama, Churchill are all educational scholarships. Minus 50 on that to Samrat. The final one of this round coming up on your screen, a city for an answer. Here we go. I said city for an answer. No one trying. A tough one here in the world finale. Time is up. No one going on the buzzer for this one. No negatives and no positives. Do any one of you want to give it a shot? Only country I know, ma'am, about this figure. This is, I think, related to Gandhiji, Satyagraha, okay. and the South Africa. Only country I know that. Country is correct. Uh, Abhishek, do you want to try? Yeah, I want to say South Africa, actually, because uh, I've seen these pictures. Samrat, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Pretoria. Johannesburg. Pretoria. Johannesburg. Johannesburg is absolutely right. <laughs> Deepta, you should have gone from the buzzer. Johannesburg is what I was looking for. The currency is absolutely correct. 
uh, the other two one is the mandela house and the other one is the gandhi house which is also called as the satyagraha house both located in that city no one getting uh, positives or negatives on this one turns out to be a slightly tougher one for our finalists ladies and gentlemen let's take a quick look at the score and then move into the last round of this quiz all right sanjeev still leading this quiz with 300 points close behind him is dhanush with 150 points uh, samra just lost the 50 that he had he took a negative uh, a little earlier and deepta on a minus 100 and abhishek on 50 points ladies and gentlemen the last round of this world finale i have seen how well they have played all through this season that is season 4 of the world teachers quiz sometimes it's just not your day which is why you are not able to work out the clues but later when you sit back and rewatch the entire finale you actually end up thinking i knew this answer why didn't i press the buzzer or why couldn't i work out the answer at that point in time that happens to the best of us and believe me all of them are exceptionally good quizzers here today let's continue and go ahead with the last lap of this world finale coming up on your screen now all right in this round the format is slightly different as compared to the other rounds that you have played so far you will have two clues appearing on your screen that is two images you have to connect the two to give me one final answer what you need to remember is everything that you see in this round is related to education and learning also remember that personalities or people are the answers for all the four questions that i have in this round so i've given you the format i've given you what kind of answers you're looking for so keep that in mind when you give me the answer four more questions and then we will know who the champion is 200 points up for grabs let's see what happens the first question i expect a quick buzz in this round but let's see what happens the first one coming up on your screen now go ahead deepta is trying benjamin bloom plus 50 to you absolutely right the bloom's taxonomy on the right there and the book authored by him all our children learning absolutely right benjamin bloom giving her the plus 50 let's move on to the next question question number 2 coming up on your screen now I said people as an answer go ahead dhanush uh and sullivan a common misinterpretation minus 50 on that she is actually maria montessori a picture of maria montessori from when she was a child and the book written by her the absorbent mind moving on to the penultimate question of this world finale ladies and gentlemen coming up on your screen now Deepta trying again go ahead Edward de Bono Edward de Bono you can actually see a lot of similarities on the face even when he was a child Edward de Bono is absolutely right teach your child how to think most of the times any book that you see where think or thinking caps or anything like that is there our first guess moves towards edward de bono rightfully so he's authored so many books uh, when it comes to lateral thinking plus 50 to deepta on that one the final question of this world finale coming up on your screen now deepta is trying again go ahead Savitri Bai Phule. Savitri Bai Phule. Why? It's there's a picture of her right there and okay. uh, the university. Yeah, the university. She's absolutely right. The Savitri Bai Phule University from Pune, and the stamp commemorating her and her contributions towards education in our country. Tipta getting a plus fifty on that. Ladies and gentlemen, time for us to take a final look at the scoreboard coming up on your screen. All right, with three hundred points, although the rest of them played very well, he played exceptionally well here today in this quiz. With three hundred points, Sanjeev 
Sanjeev Kumar from Sunbeam School, Lahartara, winning this quiz. And he's now crowned the champion of the World Teachers Quiz for the fourth season. We, of course, have Dhanush on 100 points. Deepta and Abhishek both on 50 points each. Samrat gaining and losing and moving back to nil. However, none of that matters since we have one winner and the rest of them all become joint runners up. That is how it works at the World Teachers Quiz. All of them go back with some amount of prize since they have reached the world finale. And we know the amount of effort they have put in to reach this world finale. If you have not watched the semi-finals and the run-up to this world finale, you must go back and watch the journey of all these quizzers who are here with us at this world finale. Believe me, you're going to enjoy each and every question and the way they have worked out all of the answers that they have given. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us in the season four of the World Teachers Quiz Know It All, an initiative by TeacherTribe.world in collaboration with Greycaps Knowledge Tribe and Brain Pulses. Until we see you at the next season, that would be the season five of this quiz. This is Rashmi Furtado signing off.